Good morning my dear friends, let's we start your day with pray and prize to God. The word is power. Psalm 91 4 to 11. With his feathers, he will cover you, under his wings, you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and wall. You shall not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the contagious disease that rages at sunset. Though a thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, it will not approach you. You will only look on with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. For the Lord is your refuge, the Most High has made your dwelling place. No disaster will come upon you, and no plague will approach your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you, to guard you in all your ways. Proverbs advises, meditate on the word of the Lord day and night, do not let it depart from your eyes, keep it in the depths of your heart, for from it flows life. We live in a fallen world, full of evil, terror, and more. Reflecting on Psalm 91, is crucial for believers. We, as believers, are under the protection of His wing. We need not fear the terror of the night. In the KJV Bible, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. Meditate on the word of the Lord, for His word is not just words but power. Let's pray together. Father, we are grateful for your promise in Psalm 91 4-11. We believe that you are a refuge, and will protect us from all harm. We trust that you will cover us with your wings, and your faithfulness will be a shield and fortress for us. We need not fear the darkness of the night, or the contagious diseases that lurk in the shadows, for you will guard us in all our ways. We believe your angels, will be commanded to watch over and lift us up on their hands, so our feet will not strike against stones. We trust that you will deliver us from every trouble and honor us. With long life, you will satisfy us and show us salvation. Thank you, Lord, for always being with us. In Jesus' names, Amen.